Hello. In this video, we will be repairing an Acer Aspire E14 laptop. The problem is that it can't be charged and it doesn't turn on at all. Let's check the condition. We connect it to the power supply. Oh, the voltage in the power supply drops immediately and shows a very large current. That's why we immediately disconnect it. This condition is usually caused by a short circuit on the motherboard, although not always. Okay, we will disassemble the casing to check it further. Here is the motherboard of the Acer laptop. The motherboard model is ZQN. Let's test it again, we connect it to the power supply. First, we will lower the voltage in the power supply so that if there is a short circuit, it doesn't damage other vital components. The voltage in the power supply doesn't drop and shows no current. Let's increase the voltage. The voltage still doesn't drop, the current remains at 0 amperes. Okay, we will connect the devices that we removed earlier, such as the hard drive, child board, Wi-Fi card, keyboard, and others. We will try again later and see the results. and there are still no signs of a short circuit. Even the laptop can be turned on normally. This means that there is a possibility that the problem with this laptop occurs when the battery is installed. Let's check the voltage at the battery port first. The voltage value that appears is almost the same as the voltage from the power supply. This is the reason why the voltage from the power supply drops immediately when connected to this laptop, as shown in the beginning of this video. This is because the voltage entering the battery port is too high. Under normal conditions, when the battery is not installed, the voltage value at the battery port is only a few tenths of a volt. Let's continue the analysis. Let's check if the charging MOSFET is damaged.
It's not damaged, based on the check using this avometer. Let's see the schematic of this motherboard. We have already checked the charging MOSFET which is in normal condition. Here is the MOSFET shown, PQ3, AP channel MOSFET. We have already checked the voltage at pin 5 of PQ3 which is the same as the voltage at VIN, 18.5 volts. Then the voltage at the gate pin, pin 4, is around 5 volts. Of course, this 5 volt voltage is what causes the PQ3 MOSFET to be active, consequently the voltage at pin number 5 which is directly connected to the battery port becomes the same as the voltage at pin number 1 or the V in voltage. Now we need to know where the 5 volt voltage at the gate pin comes from. And below we can see an N-channel MOSFET, PQ5. From the previous check, the voltage value at pin 3 of this MOSFET is around 3 volts, even though the voltage at its gate pin, pin 2, is 0 volts. Under normal conditions, if the voltage at pin 2 is 0 volts, then the voltage at pin 3 will be almost the same as the voltage at VIN. Because pin 3 of this MOSFET is connected to VIN through these three resistors. So the voltage value of 3 volts at pin number 3 indicates that there is a leakage on this PQ5 MOSFET. Between pin 3 and pin 1 there is a leak, so this MOSFET works as if it were a resistor. As a result, it causes resistors PR23, PR24 and MOSFET PQ5 to work together as a voltage divider. This is what causes the voltage of around 5 volts to appear at pin 4 or the gate pin of MOSFET PQ3. We will discuss this in more detail in another video. Now we know the damaged component, which is the PQ5 MOSFET. And we will replace it with a normal one. Let's check the results again. V in 18.5 volts. Voltage at battery port is 0.8 volts. Voltage at pin 3 PQ5 is 17.7 volts. This is the normal condition. And now it can be confirmed that this motherboard will work normally. Let's test it first, with the battery installed. and we connect it to the power supply. 
Now the voltage in the power supply doesn't drop anymore. Now the charging indicator is on. And the laptop can be turned on normally. The monitor screen shows the charging.